Wrestling fans, we're back with another episode of NWA Worldwide Wrestling right here in Carolina Beach tonight. And coming up, we've got the NWA Eastern States Heavyweight Championship match. Jason Morgan, the voice of NWA Worldwide Wrestling, is here with owner Johnny Lightning. Johnny, what do we got coming up for this match? We have a ring-busting time right here. Lou Marconi and, of course, the cue ball Carmichael, but they have a mission on their hands. They've got a monster coming. That's right. They're taking on the human predator. 315 pounds of man making his way to the ring right now. Marconi's got his hands full. Both of these guys are after NWA gold. This title's been resurrected. It, of course, was known as the Mid-Atlantic uh, heavyweight championship for a number of years. It has come back. The NWA has recognized this title once again as the Eastern States heavyweight championship, and either one of these guys is perfectly capable of winning this belt tonight. Well, right here at NWA Worldwide, we give you the biggest and the baddest guys in the world. No one that I know of on the circuit running right now are as big as these two gentlemen right here. Monsters. That's right. And, uh, Lou Marconi in the ring with anybody else would be a big man, but I tell you, he, he is definitely the smaller of the two men looking for this belt tonight as uh, referee Mark Denny holds it up for the crowd to see. Well, that ain't no high spots belt right there. That is the real deal, let me tell you. I know who bought it. <laughs> but uh, that is uh, actually a, a, a very nice belt. And these guys will absolutely, whoever wins this, this belt is going to have to take it and run with it as a champion, that's for sure. That's right. And as you can tell, the, the crowd is not real happy with Lou Marconi. Uh, you hear the chants of Barney. Uh, they, they don't have any love loss for him. And Cue Ball Carmichael doesn't help in this situation. They definitely, they definitely like the Predator. We're not sure what Predator we're going to see tonight. Uh, will it be the out-of-control guy that just blasts Marconi, or will we see the human Predator that's quite capable of wrestling a very technical match? Now, I talked to the Predator before this match and wished him, and I did lose also, good luck, but uh, the Predator w was a different mindset with this, a whole different mindset. Uh, I think he's going in there and be the technical guy. You know, that's what I'm thinking. Well, Marconi's going to have to get the Predator off his feet. He's not going to match him in power. Uh, normally that's not the case. Marconi can outpower his opponents, but he, he is he's outclassed when it comes to power tonight. 315 pounds will toss Marconi across the ring like he's a sack of potatoes, and I think that's what we're going to see. Cue ball Carmichael obviously is already worried about something that's going on in the ring with the referee, I guess, not uh, checking or, or not doing something with the Predator. Maybe we can listen in and find out. Them two sizing each other up. Predator's got one thing on his mind, that big victory. Look at that. You have to wonder, though, what, what Marconi has up his sleeve. You know, Cue Ball Carmichael has started this, this uh, group, The Fold, and he's, he's come out here with Marconi for this match. You got to wonder if, if Carmichael's presence won't have some effect. He's already talking to the referee. He's already saying the referee's not watching the match. There's got to be some effect to his ringside presence. I'll tell you, cue ball Carmichael will absolutely worry the hide off a monkey's butt. I finally had to change my phone number. He kept calling me after this cage match that he doesn't deserve. But let's not even get on that one. But headlock, Lou Marconi, got the big man in it. Well, the trick is how long will the Predator stay in this headlock and how long can Marconi have these power moves on the Predator? Predator's going to try to pick him up. That is that is a head. Look at that. He's absolutely. Oh, there you go. Nice push off shoulder tackle. Oh, oh hit a wall. <laughs> yeah, you're not you're not going to knock him down with that, Lou Marconi. I can tell you right now. I'd try it again. Look, there he goes. One more. Off the rope. Yep. Oh, Let's, we're not going anywhere with that. Let's try no. something else and regroup. I don't I don't think he's going to knock the Predator down to the center of the ring mm -mm. with a shoulder tackle. Oh, big clothesline, and Marconi is down. Right, going right for the cover. Look at that. Now, see what I was telling you about the big man. The big man's going after that belt. Uh, Marconi looks like he may have had enough. He may have been off more than he can chew with this match, going for this championship gold. I'll tell you, nice, nice camera angle, Furious Max. Uh, Big Frenchie doing the, doing the deal for us. Always great, great footage. 
And obviously Carmichael has some type of game plan. He's he's plan. telling Marconi to get back in the ring, and we hear him, I've heard him a couple times now, telling him to stick to the game plan. And uh, you got to wonder exactly what he's got up his sleeve. Q-Ball Carmichael is known as one of the dirtiest players in the game. That he is, believe you me. Uh, I've known Q for a long time. Like him or not like him, he is a force to be dealt with. And Marconi looks like he's trying to size up the situation. Doesn't look like he's too anxious to get back into it with the Predator right off the bat, though. I can tell you that much. Yeah, he's very, very hesitant, you can tell. I've been on both sides of the big man, and let me tell you what, uh, the human Predator will bring it every time he gets in that ring. Oh, that's a mistake right yeah. there. That he is not going to get him up for a oh, body slam. But the Predator picks up Marconi like he's nothing and slams him right down to the mat. And you know that's got to hurt. Marconi's holding the small of his back, and he is not getting up too quick from that. That's yeah. for sure. The Predator should have been right on him, though. Should have been right Double on him. Double underhook. Big nice. underhook right down on that back again. Marconi is going to feel that tomorrow morning. Nice, nice. You don't see that anymore. He's going for the cover one. Two count. Marconi gets his fingers on the ropes. Literally, fingers. Uh, great day in the morning. This that, has turned out to be a good match. That could have been all she wrote right there had Marconi not Get gotten those fingertips plan, on the ropes. I mean, Get he stuck him plan. six, eight feet again. In again, Carmichael with the game plan. What are we after here, Johnny Lightning? What exactly has Carmichael got up his sleeve? You know him better than I do. What do you think's coming? I think Cue Ball Carmichael is trying to position himself in his fold, if you will, into a position to where he can dictate what happens in worldwide wrestling. And I promise you that. And I know this guy well enough to know. Going right after the knee. That's how you get a big man down. Look at that. Yeah, Predator hurt his knee as he, he rammed it into the turnbuckle. Marconi saw it, and being the veteran he is, he went right after that knee. He's got the big man down, and that's what you got to do. You take his legs out from under him. You take away his power. If he takes away the power, Marconi has the upper hand at this point in time. That's how he's going to get the advantage and could possibly win that goal. Uh-huh. And look, man's reaning in pain. Raining in pain. I mean, a man 315 pounds, you've got to go after the wheels, you know? Yeah. And Marconi, he's, he's wrenching on that ankle and he's working on that knee. So, you know, he's taking out two of the joints, major joints on that left leg there. And he continues to work it, continues to pull and twist and, and turn it in a manner it's not supposed to, to go. That is true. The big man, you know, it's, it's funny because we can sit here and look, like take his right leg. Big human predator can take that leg and push him, but he is in so much pain. He doesn't think about that. Marconi drops that elbow down across that knee. He's hyperextending that knee joint. That knee is not meant to go sideways like that, you know. It, bend, it bends from front to back, and uh, he is just wrenching it and, and, and working. Now he's punching it in the side. He is, you know, predator's not going to be able to stand, and that takes away those big power moves from the big guy. That it does. And, and there he is with a... Uh, Cross face on uh, Lou trying to trying to get that hope broke. Uh, he's got that in tight. Let me tell you, look at that. It's it, you know, it's it's a wonder that the predator has not given up. Uh, I've seen men give up for a lot less than that. And uh, and Lou Marconi continues to work on that leg, kicks to the to the hamstring area. It looks like he's going right back to the knee. Big leg drop right down across that knee, and he's going in some type of a. What would you call it? It's like a, almost like a modified figure four. Oh, foot right on the knee, wrenching, wrenching that bottom knee. It's got to, it, it's got, that would break your knee. You, you, you didn't know what that was. Okay. I, I had uh, no idea what Gordon that was. Gordon Soley, okay. anyway, we, we ain't going there. There's more on the line. There's more on the line than what you think. Yes, this title is on the line. We're going to crown a new Eastern States title, but... If you'll see in the background to the human predator's left over his shoulder, you'll see the king, Harley Race, is going to present the belt to the winner for this. That is more prestigious, or as much, I should say, as this belt. And the predator slaps Marconi in the chest. Looks like we're going to have a, a, a little slap fest here to see if we can get that hole broke. Predator's got to get that pressure off his knee, and he looks like he's getting an upper hand on Marconi. Marconi's starting to loosen up, and he, he's, let that, he's let that pressure go off the Predator's knee. The trick is, can the Predator get up, and how much damage has actually been done to that knee joint? I tell you. Now, if Lou's smart, he's going right back after that knee. And, yep, there he is. There he is. See? Take a body part out, you stick on that body part. That's how you win titles. 
And there's not a whole lot the Predator can do right now. He, I mean, he can't even balance himself to stand up. Um, you know, this takes a lot out of his game because a lot of the Predator's technical wrestling ability comes from his power moves. Mm -hmm. uh, once he, you know, once he overpowers you, then he can get you down and, and start to, to wrestle you on the mat. Uh, but right now he's flat on his back, and Marconi's got the upper hand. That he does. And if you and Human Predator, there you go with the big push off. Look at that. Now he's thinking. Now he's thinking. All he's got to do is keep his mind set. Forget about the pain. No. The mindset may may be what he needs to do, but can his wheels support him to get it done? I tell you, I've, I've known this and man. And Marconi's right back on right that back on it. I have known this man for a long time, and truthfully, I've never seen the human predator in this condition before. And and I don't know if you just just caught cue ball Carmichael just just scream, who's the predator now? Uh huh. So now you know. Don't underestimate that big man. Whatever you do. Because I'm sure if cue ball Carmichael puts his nose in there, the big man will fix it for him. That is for sure. And Marconi, no Predator reached for the ropes. Marconi drags him to the center of the ring. Smart, keep him away from the ropes. That way he can keep working that knee, twisting on that ankle. And Predator, right where he Marconi needs him, flat on his back. Flat on his back. And Lou Marconi, I mean, nothing but a true veteran. Uh, nothing but a vet. A true ring general, if I've ever met one right there. He knows exactly what he's after. He knows exactly how to go get it. Well, I've got to say the actions of late of the fold, I'm not really happy with, and I know that you're not happy with, and the things that, that we've experienced at the office and you've experienced personally at home, but you got to give credit where credit is due. The man, like you said, is a ring veteran, and he is doing what he needs to do right now to walk out of here tonight with that gold belt around his waist. This is true. I mean, uh, either one of these gentlemen will represent our company uh, to the max. I mean, how do you get any better than these two gentlemen right here? You don't. Uh, I will put either one of these guys up with any promotion in the state, and uh, I'm very, very sure that uh, uh, they would come out victorious. Referee Mark Denny's asking the Predator if he gives up, and, of course, his answer is a definitive no as he's dragging Marconi towards the side ropes, and Predator does grab hold of that bottom rope, so if Lou Marconi has a five count to break the hold, Predator gets just a second to catch his breath, but it may be too little, too late. He's got to get to his feet. He's got to get back in this match. Marconi is totally in control right now, and right back to that knee, Predator's right back down on his back. He cannot take too much more of this. There's no way that knee's going to hold up. There's absolutely no way. No, bit, no matter how big that man is, when you take that knee from him, uh, there's only so much more you can do. Well, oh, 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 oh. Fall. and in this case, Lou Marconi took the hard foul right into the ring post. All the way out to the floor, I'll tell you, and he looks like he's going, is he going after something? What is he going after? Uh, I'm not sure. Maybe this is the, the game plan that Carmichael was talking about. Maybe there's something hidden under the ring we don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. And Referee balls. Mark Denny will keep his eyes open, I'm sure, to see exactly what's going on with Cue Ball Carmichael and Lou Marconi on the outside of the ring. Well, Looks like the Predator is setting up for, could be a vertical suplex from the outside of the ring. I don't know if that knee's going to hold up or not. That's and and the top. knee gives way, and Marconi's on top. One, two, Q Carmichael's got a hold of the foot, and there's a three count. You're looking at a new NWA heavyweight Eastern States heavyweight champion right there in Lou Marconi and the human predator is not happy. He is ticked off and cue ball Carmichael better watch his mouth. He looks like he's talking to predator and the predator is after Carmichael. Yeah. This may not be a good thing for cue ball Carmichael and he looks worried. He should be. That big man right there has done gotten mad. Carmichael is back up and he's ready to make his way out of the building, it looks like he is. Uh, he is gone. And what a nice entrance way that. Yeah, Did you see that? He, he Hopefully is, they he don't tear gone. it up when they go and, through. And, and the big man is, is after him. Lou Marconi in the ring, here comes ready the to get his gold from the legend Harley Race, eight-time NWA heavyweight champion. He is the WWE's first ever King of the Ring. And he's here at NWA Worldwide Wrestling to present the NWA Eastern States heavyweight title. And what, Lou Marconi. One of the nicest vets I have ever met and had spent time with. Uh, Tito Reigns on the outside, actually uh, with Harley all weekend. And look at that. Look at that right there. 
what a what a great uh, passing the torch to Lou Marconi and also to NWA Worldwide. And you got to give Marconi credit. The man shook Harley Race's hand. You know, well, as bad a seat as he may be with Cuba Carmichael, he showed respect to the legend. Now he's taunting the fans, showing off the belt and talking trash. This is the Lou Marconi and the fold member that we've come to know. This is what we see. But there you have it, folks. There is your NWA Eastern States Heavyweight Champion. Wow. Lou Marconi. Look at that.